what's up in today's video what we're going to do is deploy an erc1155 smart contract and we're going to build a mint button on an html website which when clicked will basically mint a new nft in that smart contract we will also make that mint button payable so that you as the smart contract owner stand to gain some money out of it but before we get started please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel i put out new new videos weekly and they're usually around the web 3 stuff so hopefully you subscribe to the channel and also make sure to add a comment i always i try to respond to all the comments that i get uh, especially the ones that are some questions and it keeps me motivated to create new videos every week and put them out all right then let's get started so as you can see, I've opened wizard.openzeppelin.com. I have uh, I've added a mintable feature to the ERC1155 smart contract. And I think that's basically it. I don't need anything else. I'll open this in Remix. Now, based on my previous videos, what I'm going to do is basically make some changes to it. So for example, one thing that I want to remove is the mint batch functionality as of now. I just want to show you how do we mint one particular token id at one point of time i'll also make sure that you we don't need to we don't need to make the mint function only owner so that anybody can mint the account in the mint will be self sorry message dot sender so that we know that this nft will be minted to the person who's sending this transaction the data needs to be nothing let's just call it empty and remove this data from here next we need to make sure that the function is payable and in require we make sure that the message dot value is greater than or equal to amount into mint rate otherwise we give an answer that not enough ether sent so to do that we also need to include a mint rate which will be u into 56 mint rate is equal to let's say 0 0.05 ether we can also make this mint rate public so that people can see what the rate is to limit the ids that we are we should be able to mint what we will do is create a u to u into 56 array for total supplies which will be let's say 10 10 and 50 so what i'm trying to say is token id 1 will have 10 supply total token id 2 will have 10 supply and token id 3 will have 50 just gonna add these things over here in the require statement so that the user is not allowed to mint more than 10 for token id 1 and blah 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 so i made sure that id is less than equal to supplies dot length so that uh, if the id is 3 we we know that supplies dot length is also 3 and that is a valid value but here what another thing that we have done is we've made sure that the id is can be 0 right so another thing that we do is id is greater than 0 and we need to keep a track of how many have been minted so 0 0 0 and then we need to require minted of id plus 1 plus amount should be less than supplies less than or equal to supplies of id plus one actually id minus one because token id one is what we want to is where we want to start with so token id one is index id zero so minted of id minus one plus amount is less than equal to supplies id minus one not enough supply left all right so once we have done all these things then what we do is we allow the message sender to mint this token id by this number of amount and we can also make these public as well then we try to compile the con contract i hope it should work yeah it's giving me a warning that i don't need to use account over here and it's true i can just remove it like that and it works great so now we Try to deploy it over here deployment is fine now if i try to mint id number one with the amount 11 and i of course give the correct finny which will be 0 0.05 into 11.55 which means 550 finny if i click on transact it gives me an error which says not enough supply left very good 
and if I just do 10, it says not enough ether, ether send because right, it worked. Great. Now let me try to do 4 and it should give me an error which says not enough ether sent. Just need to make sure that uh, this amount of ether sent is checked after making sure that the token is valid. So I do 4 and transact and it will give me an error because I haven't compiled and after compilation I need to deploy it again. I deploy and uh, now I do 4 and amount whatever and it says token doesn't exist all right so i can assume the contract is working now so now what i want to do is deploy the specific contract to the rinky by test network so to do that i can just go here and say web3 provider or injected web3 actually and once i do that i hope it is connected it is connected right if it is not connected for you, what you will you can do is uh, I'll show what what happens if it is not connected. Uh, I click on injected. So when I select injected Web three, it opens up in the MetaMask and asks me to connect. I click on connect and it sort of connects. If it doesn't work for you, copy the whole code, refresh Remix, and it should work. Now I click on my token over here and I click on deploy. It's, it's asking me to pay the gas fees uh, which is not a problem for me uh, what is the medium yeah it should not be a problem for me i click on confirm and wait for the transaction to proceed to finish actually now once the transaction completes to once the transaction finishes just like that just like it has now uh, once it has done i can go and check out my contract over here this is the contract address this is the address that i will need okay so an nft is deployed on this specific contract and the next thing i'm going to do is create open terminal i've created a folder called erc1155 where i open sublime text the next thing that i've done was, is created this index.html file where i have connected metamask to my website so how does that how does one do that uh, in an async function what i do is i check for window.ethereum is present if it is i send this request uh, to connect the accounts once the request is once the request succeeds uh, i use the window.ethereum object uh, and then pass it on to web3 library and this web3 library is taken from a cdn uh, you can simply copy this code it's not very difficult the next thing i did was fetch all the accounts that have given me permission and then f fetch the first account and i'm using that as my main account and using it on my web page so to see how it looks like we open the terminal we type python hyphen m simple http server and then uh, while the server boots up we go to localhost port 8000 and you can see that my wallet is already connected because i'm already given permission to localhost local port 8000 if i disconnect and i refresh it's it asks for the permission and i've given it all right so now everything is working uh, the next thing that we need to do over here is create this mint button all right and you can see that mint button is there but um, hopefully it should not do anything yep it does nothing one thing that i've already done is given the address of the contract over here as you can see uh, now i need to fetch the abi and how do i fetch the abi i go here in the compilation uh, point and then copy the abi and then i can paste the abi but i'm not going to do it just right away First thing that I want to show you over here is uh, in the mint function there are two things that now we need to send in the earlier 721 ERC 721 case we were sending nothing uh, but here we need to we need to send the ID and the amount the total number of tokens that the person needs to mint and we also have a public mint rate which is 0 0.05 ether uh, do I have that I don't even have enough ether to make this transaction go forward 
which is why there will be an error but anyway this is just to explain how it works so, so before i press this mint button i need to take two inputs from the user which is one will be the id which which can be one two or three any of the three and the amount which is the total number of tokens they want to mint so i have added these two input fields token id and amount and i refreshed and this is what it looks like uh, i can enter let's say token id 2 and amount let's say 1 uh, now when i press the mint in the nft button still nothing happens because i haven't configured it properly now to do that first i need to make sure that this this code is there document not element by id mint and on click what i need to do is basically call this mint method on the contract i haven't initialized the contract before that but i also don't have the number of tokens that are required the token id that is required so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to find the token id document dot query selector and uh, the query that will be that i need is name is equal to token id and the query needs to be in a string and here i need to get the value and just to make sure that this thing works i open my console put here query select is not a function of course query selector is the token id d is small okay dot value yes this is what i want and this needs to be a number similarly i need the amount which will also be a number name is equal to amount and then i just need the value great if i do this if i run these two things do i get the token id and the amount yes i do great now that i have the amount um, i need to figure out how much ether i need to send to find that ether, uh, I will need the access to contract. So I'm going to uncomment the contract initialization. Uh, I will need ABI as well and address I've already given. To get the AV ABI, uh, I just need to go to the compilation details, copy the ABI, uh, remove whatever I have and paste it. It's a big list, but oops, make sure that you do choose my contract over here before pasting the ABI great so it's a big list but it sort of works if i go and refresh over here i should have a contract object on the contract object you will see that there are there's a method called mint rate this is how we call any function and then we call call because it's just going to read value it's not going to write anything and it has returned a string with the amount of ether that we need to send not ether but way the smallest unit of ether ether so the next thing that i'm going to do is make sure that this function is async function and i'm going to uh, await the total amount that i need so i'm going to call a number on await contract dot methods dot mint rate dot call all right so this should give me the total amount that is required after that the method that i need to call is called mint let's just double let's just make sure it's called mint yes it's called mint with two arguments token id and amount and the send will be from from and the value will be string um, total amount all right and i think that is it this is all that we need to let people mint this so for let me just refresh the whole page and click on mint an nft now and it should show up with 0 0.05 amount uh, for the token id too let me just reject this for now and change the amount to let's say 10 and i click on mint an nft again this will be mint rate actually and the total amount will be mint rate into amount so this is a mistake this was a mistake on my part but i fixed it now <laughs> and i refresh this page again and i click on mint and nft again this time it is asking 0.5 ether instead of 0 0.05 ether because i'm sending 10 i'm asking for 10 amounts of the tokenity too great so this is how basically you 
put a mint button on your website and allow people to mint an ERC1155 token which can have more than one amount. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching the whole video. Hopefully this was of any help to you. ERC1155 is very helpful for creating games and everything. So if you're looking to create a game, make sure you understand this whole process. If you like the video, please make sure to hit that like button, comment so that I know what you're looking for, what problems you faced and make sure to subscribe this channel. I'll be putting out more videos each week next week i'm not really sure what i want to pick so definitely make sure to leave a comment so that i can decide what to pick on next and i hope to see you all again bye bye